Hi there. In this short video, we're going to introduce the important concept of ratio analysis. A ratio analysis is a common part of your studies of business performance. It involves a comparison of data, typically financial data. And the aim of ratio analysis is to use that comparison and interpretation of financial data to gain insights into how a business is performing. Ratio analysis is uh, very widely used in business because it helps answer some key questions. For example, why is one business more profitable than another? Or why is one business less profitable than another? What kind of returns are being earned by the shareholders from their investment in the business or by a business as it invests in its projects? How solvent is a business? Is it able to pay its debts when they become due? How well does it manage its assets, particular its uh, working capital, such as inventories, debtors and creditors? Ratio analysis helps answer all of these questions, although it doesn't necessarily lead to the solutions to those, uh, those questions. Ratio analysis is essentially built around financial information from the financial records of the business. And the two main sources of information that you'll typically use as you calculate ratios are the income statement, which is a, a, an historical record of the sales, the income and the costs of a business over time. And also the balance sheet, which you'll remember is a snapshot of the assets and the liabilities of a business at a particular point in time. So from the income statement, we'll draw out data such as revenues or income and sales, the cost of those sales, which enables us to calculate and look at gross profit. We look at the operating profit and the net profit or profit for the year when we're looking at profitability ratios. From the balance sheet, lots of useful information. In particular, we often look at uh, elements within uh, what, we know as, what we know as working capital. So current assets such as inventories, trade debtors, current liabilities, which of course includes amounts owed to suppliers. We look at the level of inventories. We look specifically when we're looking at efficiency of asset management at those trade receivables and payables. But also when we're looking at the financial structure of a business, we look at the bottom part of a balance sheet. We're looking at the capital, the reserves, and the amounts that are owed in the long term, the long term liabilities of a business. What we've done is we've produced separate revision videos that show you how to calculate each of the ratios, each of which draws on information from the income statement and the balance sheet. Now, in terms of ratio analysis, the key process involved in this is firstly to gather the data. Of course, most of that will be from the financial accounts of a business. What you then do is you calculate the ratios. Having calculated the ratios, importantly, what you then need to do is to analyze and interpret the results. What's the ratio saying? And finally, and perhaps most importantly, take some action based on it. No point calculating a ratio unless in particular, if it gives you an insight into business performance, if you, unless you do something about it. In terms of ratios, there are quite a few of them out there. We've grouped them into three main groups. Profitability ratios. This is looking at the returns or profits earned by the business, both in terms of uh, a, a proportion or percentage of revenues. So gross profit margin is uh, gross profit divided by revenues, operating profit margin operating profit divided by revenues. So that's a relative profitability based on revenues, but also in terms of the return that's earned on the capital employed in a business. Perhaps the most commonly used ratio there is return on capital employed. So profitability ratio is all about how a business earns returns. Liquidity ratios are all about whether the business is able to pay its way. Can it pay its debts? And the two key ones there are the current ratio and the asset test ratio, which use information from the balance sheet. And thirdly, what are known as financial efficiency ratios. Here we're looking at the effectiveness of the way in which a business manages its finances. So how long does it allow um, customers to, uh, to take before they pay their bills? Receivables days. How long does it take before it pays suppliers? Payables days. How quickly does it turn over the amount of inventory it holds in the business? And also the gearing ratio, which looks at the, the relative proportion of debt in the business as a proportion of the overall capital in the business.
There is one more group of ratios known as shareholder ratios, which are all concerned with the returns earned by shareholders. We're not going to group those into, into this presentation. Who uses ratios? Well, of course, there are many different users of accounts, and therefore there are going to be many different users of the ratios based on those accounts. Lots of user groups are interested in the profitability of a business. Of course, shareholders in particular want to understand what kind of returns are being earned. But of course, if you're a competitor, you're certainly interested in the profitability ratios of your key competitors. And I guess as an employee, you're interested in what kind of returns and profits are being earned by your business. Governments will be interested in profits, particularly when it comes to understanding how much tax should be paid on those profits by businesses. Liquidity ratios also have lots of users interested in them. In particular, I would say that lenders and suppliers are particularly interested in whether a business is able to pay its debts. And that makes sense, doesn't it? If you're a supplier offering credit to a business, you want to be pretty uh, satisfied that the, the business will be able to pay your invoices when they become due. Similarly, a lender like a bank would look very closely at the liquidity position of a business to make sure that the business is able to pay the interest and the amounts, the capital amounts owed on a bank loan, for example. When it comes to financial efficiency, it's very similar, actually. Uh, shareholders definitely want to make sure that the business is being run efficiently, that the capital tied up in the business is being uh, minimised. Uh, lenders and creditors um, very, very interested in, in how... Uh, the working capital of a business is managed. And of course, competitors will be interested to see whether uh, a, a competing business is able to manage its assets more effectively, more efficiently, because that could be a source of competitive advantage. There we go, guys. That's just a brief introduction to ratio analysis, highlighting the key areas of ratios and, uh, and why they're used. What we'll move on to and have done in other videos is to look in the details of how each ratio is calculated, but also look at the limitations of ratio analysis.